Let's talk about disempowerment. Disempowerment is exactly that. I have lost my empowerment. Usually December, January rolls around and all of a sudden you have a string of power. You're like, okay, I'm gonna make a million bucks this year. I'm gonna find a boyfriend, da, 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 da. Come about March, April, May, June, which is where we are now, June, you don't even remember what you wrote down in January. Why is that? Because we have two voices inside of us. The one that's very powerful, which is our spirit, our love, our consciousness of the divine. We've got the ego voice that says, you suck, who cares, the guilt, sacrifice, ugh. And we can't tell them apart. We can and we can't. The problem is, is that the ego voice is louder, it runs our nervous system, and it's faster. So it's no surprise that we're feeling disempowered at all. So how do you heal this? You have to do two things. One is to make this louder. And the second thing is to put a flashlight on the ego and really start to understand it and forgive it and get to know it. But because this has been running the show for 20, 30, 40, 50 years, it almost feels like a uphill battle Mount Everest or something, but it's not, it's not. Because the spirit, the divine consciousness, the I am is that much more powerful. And as a consciousness, this is what we're meant to do. If you live in Vancouver and are interested in this kind of topic, I have a really short two hour workshop coming up next Tuesday. There's only three spots left with Hannah Marie Todd about disempowerment. Then I have another workshop on Saturday next week on June 22nd, which is all about women healing women, women healing our disempowerment wounds, only for women though. And then of course I've got my big white event, which is at the end of this month, it's a four and a half day deep dive retreat. It's gonna move all that crap out of the way. So if you're getting a pool, I'd love to hang out with you. Otherwise, if you can't make any of them, remember, this disempowerment voice, it's a lie. The truth of who you are is a consciousness of spirit.